is going on fellas and welcome to team 23 I believe of our 126 team rebuild remember and I'll start saying this at the beginning of every episode I do not choose the team that we do next so though I appreciate you guys dropping your suggestions I don't choose the team that we are doing next the stream does if you wish to have your say in the voting make sure you check out the twitch it's the top link in the description you might be able to actually catch these builds live so if it sounds like something you're interested in definitely come and check it out you'll have a lot of fun so without further ado eastern michigan is in the mac conference they have a 77 overall 77 offense and 80 defense one of the better teams in the mac i believe so let's check it out let's see how we do two and ten six and six two and ten i guess it doesn't matter anyway does it we got a bunch of three stars i'll take the outside linebacker we need one of those nothing here mate let's just get the fastest guys we can right here get some speed on the team boys we're first on all of these guys okay okay i can dig it both of these guys and I guess because it's only you one, we might as well grab some of the trash cans. I didn't do scouting, did I? Wow, way to go, Crow. That's how you know I'm tired. Now I don't know who's good or not. Awesome. Oh, we got the lead on Steve Bell, but I just realized he's a Juco. Let's hope he's a sophomore. We got the lead on all of these guys. Only four stars. Interesting. Wide receiver, running back, athlete, athlete, cornerback, wide receiver. Andy Goodman, the number one tight end. This guy's an 80 overall. That'd be a mad pickup. 78 overall. I'll take it. 77. This wide receiver's good, though. Brian Parker looks like a freak of nature, mate. We're also going to pick up Ryan Mason here. All right. I'm happy with that. We pick up Steve Bell, 79 overall cornerback. James Kelly. Okay, we got some nice pieces there for the future. All right, we got the lead on all of these guys. Got the lead on Brian Parker. Lead on Ray Malloy. Lead on Ryan Mason. And we got the lead on the five-star. Okay, so we got Steve Bell. If he's a soft more that's great that's all right though we got a lot of really really good players there oh come on give us something good okay there we go all right we got something successful out of that ryan morris is a freak josh jones will pick him up 100 percent. we have to go after ryan morris i'll take both 72 defensive ends we're gonna have these two in the bag got a running back got an outside linebacker tight end cornerback and a wide receiver this class is kind of nutty when you think about it Andy Goodman, Brian Parker, and Ryan Mason all commit. That's awesome, man. Great tight end, good wide receiver. Got some nice 60s overalls there. I'll be all right. He's in the bag. Outside linebacker's in the bag. Just got the lead on him. 700 and set. Wow, what happened there, mate? Man, every time you want to go after somebody, everybody just piles in, huh? Not a bad class, though. All right, we've got Ryan Morris and Ray Malloy completing our stacked class, man. Lucky we only have a target swim per year of five because we just went six and six. No bowl game either. All right, let's see what freshmen are going to be leaving. 70 overall freshman wide receiver. Still going to leave? All right, bro. Bet. Yo, I don't know what that even says. Oh, he's going to stay. And a lot of people are graduating, but we just signed a really good class, man. So check out this class. This is Eastern Michigan, mate. Steve Bell, 79 overall, 77, 78, 78, 75, 75. So we got Matt Harris, the running back. I'm going to drop like 7K into Josh Jones. We'll take Ryan Carter. We got Josh Jones. We got the left end. Sign the top class in conference. Sign a top 25 class. One five star, five four stars, six three stars. We beat out Oklahoma State, Iowa, Wisconsin, Auburn. All right. All right, let's check out these training results. Who's going to be our best player that's genuinely... Oh, jeez, he's pretty far down, whoever it is. Well, I guess that was our first class, but... I mean, I guess the team isn't bad for a MAC team. Not bad for a MAC team at all. All right, let's get into season two, boys. That was a really good first season right there. All right, let's get this board out of the way. I'll take the center. Four-star wide receiver, I guess I'll take it. We'll take an athlete. We'll take a strong safety. Take another cornerback. And I'm going to take all of these guys right here. Micah Johnson. Interesting name. 75, Ryan going up nine. Scott McDuffie going up eight. He goes up four and Jeff Bryant goes up one. Do we have over a hundred bonus on anybody? Joseph Brooks. That's awesome. Looks like he wants to stay in Florida, but we'll see what Michigan can do. Try and take Nate Palmer if we can. Ooh, 235 bonus on an 80 overall. Let's take all the offensive linemen, man. We have to. Amir Pearson. Let's go ahead and drop 400 on him. We kind of are in there for Sam King. Lead on Nick Ryan. Lead on Scott McDuffie. Lead on JJ and lead on Jeff Bryan. We're gonna get all four tackles. 630 for Crosby. Well, at least we got the lead on the tackles. All right, this is the bus brigade, apparently. 75, Chris Fine. We signed 81 left tackle Jeff Bryant, 78 left tackle JJ Jordan, 78 right tackle, another running back, another left. Oh my goodness, we just got four 
offensive lineman in one week. That is crazy, man. There goes the O lineman. We still need to get free safety. We got to get a lot of things, huh? Four star wide receiver. Denman. Larry Sparks. Still got the lead on the guard. Got the lead on the middle linebacker. Thank goodness. Okay, I'll take Ronnie Lewis, wide receiver. If you're just going to give him to me like that. 70 overall free safety. We need a free safety. I'll take that. All right, we pick up the strong safety, Joseph Brooks. We got the middle linebackers. I'm happy. I'm happy. I like it, mate. All right, we broke a couple of school records. We got the heart of Dallas Bowl. Nice. Ah, uh, we have another player leaving to go to Bowling Green. Stop stealing my players, Bowling Green. Oh, we could go after Sam King or Ronnie Lewis. I think this is a no-brainer. We're going all in on Sam King, mate. 80 overall wide receiver, of course. Sign the top class in conference. Yes. All right, let's check out these training results. What do we got? Andy Goodman and Brian Parker are both going to be there the final year. Already 82 overall, so that's nice to see. And I'm going to start this guy over Gunnar Oaks as well. Like, you know what I mean? We also got Ryan Mason, the cornerback, up to an 81. And uh, we should see quite an increase in the team here now as well. Maybe even a B offense or a B defense now? We'll see what happens. All right, we know what we need. Season three, we're going to probably fly through this season. We finally have a four star. Take a couple of cornerbacks. Brada. All right, we got some good cornerbacks here. We can work with this. 81 defensive end. All right. Free safety. Got to get him. I'll even take a 74. And I think defensive end is a little bit more dire. Oh, my God. 305 bonus on this guy? Are you joking? Eric Ross, I'm taking that. Big Jimmy Broussard. All right. We're all B minuses now, so that's not bad. We're in 81, 81, 80. That's not bad, I guess. Okay, lead on him. Nearly got the lead on him. I'm going to keep on him just in case. Eric Ross, nice. Nearly got the lead on him. Bernard Riley can eat a fat one. Dave Wolf can also... Oh, do we want to make him eat a fat one yet? The number one... We'll keep him on. We'll keep him on. Nate Sampson, the number one quarterback in the entire class. No point getting him, but we can get John Thomas. Another outside linebacker. That's perfect. And a middle linebacker. Defensive end, that's perfect. Justin Ralph. I need this defensive end. All right, let's see if anybody signed. That would be fantastic. Ding, 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 ding. Nobody signed. Holy crap. Not one person. All right, lead on the free safety. Still chasing his ass. Still chasing him. Got him in the bag. Him in the bag. Him in the bag. Nearly got him in the bag. That's crazy, man. So we're going to get our complete linebacking core. Give me something I can work with. I'll take David Ralph then. Big Ralphie. Ralph is a terrible winning. Winning for sure. Eric Ross. Lonnie. Wow. Okay. We needed our linebacking core. There it is. We needed a free safety. There it is. Brandon. And we got our left end. We got the free safety. Yo. Okay. 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 Oh, we probably dropped down to Sam. We're probably what? A two star again now. Let's hope nobody leaves as well. All right, nobody is leaving. That's fantastic. A lot of people are graduating. That's fine. I guess I'll go six into Scruggs and then 3K is good. I think that should be enough. If we got a 2K lead, put three in. We'll see what happens. 81 overall right end. The rebuild is essentially complete. We got all the linebackers. Sign a top 25 class again. So the only things we needed in this class was a free safety cornerback, defensive line, and linebackers. 81 defensive end. Good, decent DT. Free safety. Good cornerback. We're done, boys. The whole team is ready. We're ready. All we got to do is progress. Yeah, the team is looking solid overall. A lot of 80s, 190. But by next year, we're going to have, what, 590s, maybe 6, potentially? What are our team needs? If there's nothing a team needs, I'm just going to YOLO it. We don't need a tight end because we already have one. We definitely don't need guards. We have more than enough O-line. And we don't need a strong safety because we have a junior that can take over next year. All right, well, honestly, guys, I don't even know if we need to recruit this year. We will, but we won't go that hard. Let's try pick up a backup tight end because that's all we need we got receivers cornerbacks but 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 this is just for a nice little backup right here so we have a million linebackers a million defensive tackles and then just go all in on the best ones only one five-star corner in the entire class this year i'd even take william jones he's interested in our school and he's a 72 that's a perfect backup you know all right i'll play ball go to william jones get another tight end just for next year and we don't really need a cornerback but we'll try and pick up a couple if we can all right, so we're all Bs now. I kind of thought we'd be in a better spot. I mean, look, we're 86, 86, and 87. That's not bad at all, man. Wow, there's a lot of tight ends, like, in the top right here. I might as well get a free safety as well, huh? Okay, that's a potential of two cornerbacks. I'll take 73. That's not bad at all. That'll be some good blocking. 
All right, we pick up Vincent Andrews. That's fantastic. We got our cornerback. We did get a backup tight end. That's all we wanted, and we're only in week whatever it is. The funny thing is we've gotten all the man power that we need, so recruiting strategy at this point is going to go all to one. We don't need to do that shit anymore, and let us go to the end. All right, we got the fullback. Feels good. Oh, we have Ohio in the conference championship. We're the better team. No surprises there. We get the dub. We're 9-4. and four. By far our best season. Jay Jones broke all the school records, mate. All of them. That's crazy. You did it, coach. Thanks, guys. 9-5. We're safe. All right. Who's going to be leaving us? Just the seniors. I'm happy with that. That's fine with me. All right. Checking out the final training results. We're going to come away with a handful of 90 pluses there. Center, quarterback, tight. So it's pretty much all offense apart from a cornerback and a left end. But as you can see, the team is pretty consistent the whole way down. I'm not sure how good this team is going to be. We were a B overall last year. We definitely will crack that 90, I believe, which is an A minus. So A minus isn't too bad considering we started off at like 79. Let's see how we do. So recruiting board is already on automatic. All right, so wow, we were a B last year. We're now an A with an A plus offense and an A minus defense. We come in 95 overall, 97 offense, 93 defense. We were like eight, bro, that's crazy though. Let us go to the end of the season, see how we do. Let's see if we can go 12 and 0. We should, you know, dominate. 11 and 1 would be all right, but let's get an update. Let's see what we are. Yeah, we're not even ranked. Wow, not even ranked on a 7 and 1 record. I mean, look how much better we are than Ball State. Like, not even close. If we don't at least finish this thing ranked, I'm going to be upset. If we lose to Ball State, it's rigged. 100% rigged. We're an A. They were a C plus overall. We're an A with an A plus offense. And they beat us. Talk about cheese, man. Uh, that's unbelievable. So we're obviously much better than UMass. We are currently ranked 22nd on that 95 overall. Let's jump into it. I mean, we got UMass. Uh, just for the record, they're B minus. We're A. Just for the record. Just trying to put that out there. Just in case we lose that game. Being ranked 22 would make all Eastern Michigan fans wet. So don't worry. <laughs> That quote was from your very own The Real Swaggy Pete. Don't forget to follow him on MySpace. We are taking on Western Kentucky though. They underestimate us, don't they? Eastern Michigan picks up a overwhelming dub there to go to 12 and 2. We did finish ranked, which is awesome. We go 12 and 2, so we have a Cinderella finish right there. Eastern Michigan, not doing too bad at all. Jay Jones breaking records all over the place. We will go check out the stats in a moment. For you guys hungry to find out, we finish 16th. All right, Malloy, our quarterback, he had 24 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, only 2,400 yards, so not that good. 98 overall, we kind of expect a bit more. On the rushing end, Josh Jones nearly picking up 2,000 yards and 19 touchdowns. Antonio Jones, our backup, 12-42 and 12. Uh, Malloy also ran for six touchdowns and nearly 300 yards. Receiving, wow, nobody even coming close to 1,000. I mean, that's crazy. It was very evenly distributed. I'll give you that much. 9 and 4 ranked 3 for Penn State. Crazy. 49 pancakes. Yikers, man. And then Lonnie Brown, the sophomore. 96 tackles, 21 TFLs, 7.5 sacks for Carter Stagner. Going into the interceptions, we see 3 for Mason, 3 for EJ Williams. Okay, okay, nice. Did we have any forced fumbles or anything? A lot of defensive touchdowns, man. That is crazy. But that is going to wrap up the Eastern Michigan Dynasty. We did finish ranked, so I consider that a success. If you made it far into the video, you are the real MVP. Don't forget, you can come watch these live on Twitch by clicking the link in the description. Almost every day we stream around daylight savings kicked in. So I think it's like, man, I don't even know. Honestly, what? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, about 4 p.m. 3, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll see you guys around then if you want to drop in for those. But that being said, fellas, I'll catch you next time. I'm out. <laughs> Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care at all You've been out all night, I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words, not